Good morning, YouTube. This is New Life for Jen, or Jen. This is my um, week nine post-op video, and also week three of the 15 pound and 30 day challenge video. Um, I'm coming you to you today at 222.4, which that makes a 1.6 pound loss from last Monday. Um, 10.6 pounds total for the challenge lost and 42.6 pounds lost since the start of my pre-op diet and that was on March 1st, 2011. Um, this week, this week was a good week. Um, I call it a good week even though I didn't have that great of a loss. Um, just because I think I'm just starting to get more in a routine of how, how you eat with the lap band and what you need to do and what you not need to do and it's just I think it's just coming more of you know a lifestyle change than it is um, <clears throat> than just having to do it just because I wanted to lose the weight it's becoming more of an easier lifestyle change I don't crave things like I used to anymore I'm satisfied with the food I'm eating um, you know I'm, I'm just I'm happy and I think that to me is a great non-scale victory because you know, when you first think about even having this surgery, you know, at first you want to do it so bad because you want to lose the weight. And the closer and closer it gets to your surgery, your surgery date, you're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm not going to be able to eat this anymore. And you, you actually have stress because of the fact that you can't eat the foods that you always ate before. And those stresses for me are gone. I mean, if I want something, I eat it if I can eat it. I mean, if my band will allow me to eat it. Um, this week, you know, I had a 1.6 pound loss. I exercised um, four days this week, um, you know, which I know some of you are doing a lot more. Um, it's just, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to take the time out to go do it. But I'm a very active person. I'm active at home. I'm just, I'm not a person that just sits around all the time either. So, I contribute, there's so many other things I do every day that that would be considered as exercise that I don't count it. So, um, <clears throat> so that's been great. Um, my food's been right on. Um, Friday was my husband's birthday, so we had, of course, cake. Um, so I had a little piece of cake, and we went to Applebee's, and I had boneless chicken wings, which I love. I ate those. I mean, I think if you make yourself crazy on, oh my gosh, that food has, you know, this many calories. I mean, I, I, I'm still like that, but if it's a special occasion, I'm going to eat the food. Um, this weekend, Saturday, was the first time, like, ever that I ran. That I ran. Granted, I didn't run forever. I did, um, I started the Couch to 5K program on Saturday. My son had a wrestling um, practice, and so I went on the high school track and did it on their track there, outside. I'm scared to run on a treadmill. Don't know why. Just scared I'm going to fall off. Scared I'm going to make a fool out of myself. So I ran on the track outside at the at the high school. And I will say that I am a smoker. I don't know how many of you out there are smokers. That is my next vice that I have to beat. I've smoked since I, you know, was 16. I mean, I've smoked earlier than that, but not steady smoking. So that's something I have to work on, and because I, I know that that's going to affect my running, because I can feel it on Saturday, um, but I felt great afterwards. It was just the point of accomplishing it, really not the point of, you know, it felt great yet, because like I said, it was my first time running, and you think you have the endurance from walking, you know, because I walk pretty fast. When I'm on the treadmill, I usually walk between a 3.8 and a 4.2, so... You know, I know some people that run at like a 4 and a 4.5, so I walk pretty fast. So you think that you would have the endurance to run. Well, you're obviously using way more muscles and, you know, c cardio wise with your heart, you're using a lot more of that way. So, but that was a non scale victory for me. And that's like one of my goals. I want to run. I want to run. I want to be able to, you know, go run for a half hour and not have to stop and not be out of breath. So that's just like a little goal for myself that I've set. Don't know when I'm going to achieve it, but that's just something I want to do. If it takes me, you know, a year to run, that's what it will take. But um, I'm going to keep doing this Couch to 5K. I've got the app on my iPhone. 
So it's really cool. You you plug it in. You can play your music while you're doing it. And it tells you, you know, start running now, start walking now. So out of the 30 minute on the app, the first five minutes is warm up. And then it was 60 minutes, 60 seconds of running, 90 seconds of walking. And I did 24 minutes. And then I had to stop and go get my daughter from softball practice. But so, I mean, I don't know how many actual minutes of that I was running, but I mean, it's hard. I give you guys a lot of credit that people that run, like, you know, at, at say at my weight, you know, say at 220 pounds, I mean, to run at 220 pounds, I mean, I see those people on Biggest Loser doing it for like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know how they do it. I mean, I guess maybe with that's when your adrenaline kicks in because you got somebody in there screaming in your face you can do it you can do it you can do it well you know I had my son out there he's seven and he was chasing me around with the water bottle <laughs> wanting to know if I needed water so I guess he was my little trainer guy but I mean I'm gonna get there that's just one of my baby steps but I don't think it's all about what kind of exercise you're doing and when you're doing it I think it's just I think I just watched that video from Band and Wendy on her Vegas speech, and it's just like she said, you just have to get out there and get moving. Regardless of what it is, you just have to keep yourself moving. And my doctor's told me that too. He doesn't care what kind of exercise I do. He just wants me doing something five days a week for 30 minutes. That's it, you know. But I know if you want to achieve better results, you have to do more than that. But um, So I don't know if this week... I'm hitting a plateau or getting ready to hit a plateau because I've never had a gain yet. So that kind of scares me. I don't want to gain. Um, I know next weekend's Memorial Day weekend. We have a party on Sunday. So, you know, I will make the best food choices as I can. But I don't know if I'm going to hit a plateau here or not. So maybe that means I do have to really step up the exercise, you know, because I've had some really big week losses in the last month, you know. So we'll see what happens. Um, anything else? Water. I've done great on my water. Water has been awesome, phenomenal. I mean, I'm doing si at least 64 ounces a day. If not, I try to go to 100. So, and I, I, I'm including that just as water. I don't include my coffee or tea or any of that stuff that's just water. So, water's been right on. The band has been much better this week. Last week I had a lot of problems with a lot of different foods. I had my fill. So it was really touchy last week. This week it was much, much better. So I was really happy about that. Um, it's kind of scary when you first get a fill and the things that you ate, say, two days prior to getting the fill, you can't eat now. I mean, it kind of kind of messes with your head because you don't want to have an unfill because I pay for fill or unfill. So I didn't want to have an unfill and then, you know, then have to go back down for another fill. So... I was happy that the band settled down and it is still tight. I mean, there are some days that I can eat certain things, some days I can't. Um, so it's right where it's supposed to be. So I can say that at nine weeks out, I have restriction, which is awesome because some people don't get that in that short amount of time. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Um, loved everybody's videos this week. Um, love everybody on Facebook and here on YouTube. I mean. Like I've said before, I know other people have said it, it's just great to have a community that understands and they just, anything that happens with you, they, I, I don't know, it's just an amazing, amazing group of people. I thank everybody for the new subscribers this week and people that I've met and I think the meet and greet did great things for that because it kind of brought all of us together too that did not actually get to go. We found people that we didn't know, you know, before. So there was a lot of videos this week that I watched that, you know, of people that I had just found, um, which is great. Um, and let's see, I'm at 9 minutes and 15 seconds. I hope everybody has a great week. Um, this is the last week of the 15 pound and 30 day challenge, so hopefully we can get it done. I don't know if I'll be able to lose 4.4 pounds this week, but I will try my hardest. If not, this, this challenge has been great. The group's been great on Facebook. I appreciate it. Patience and Northern Southerner, you guys have done great things. And I'll see you guys next week.